this series, we showcase the faces behind some of the popular street names in Zimbabwe. In Harare city center, including many other places in Zimbabwe, you will find a road or institution named after Herbert Chitepo. In this video, we share more about this Zimbabwean hero. But before we do that, please consider partnering with me on Patreon, link in the description. Herbert Wiltshire Fumaindini Chitepo was born on the 5th of June 1923 in Watsomba village in the Mutasa district of the Manikaland province of what was then southern Rhodesia. At the age of three, Herbert Chitepo lost his father. Chitepo was sent to St. David's Mission School, Bonda, and eventually St. Augustine School in Penalonga where he did his secondary school. In 1943, Chitepo left for South Africa, where he enrolled at the Adams College in Natal to train as a primary school teacher. This is where he met Victoria Mahamba Sitole, a South African woman whom he eventually married in 1955. After completing his program, he returned to Rhodesia, where he taught at St. Augustine's Penalonga before going back to South Africa to further his studies. He attended Fort Hay University in South Africa between 1947 and 1949, where he graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in English. Thereafter, he left for London, where he was attached to the School of Oriental and African Studies, and he worked as a research assistant. He then studied law at King's College, becoming a barrister in 1954. Upon return to Rhodesia, Hebe Chitepo established a private law firm in Salisbury, where he used his legal expertise to lobby for reforms on the Land Apportionment Act. Chitepo was eventually admitted as an advocate at the High Court in 1954. In 1960, he joined the National Democratic Party, which was eventually banned by the Rhodesian authorities. In June 1962, he left Rhodesia for Tanzania, where he was appointed Director of Public Prosecutions. In July 1963, the Ndabaningi Stole and Joshua Nkomo factions of ZAPU split. Joshua Nkomo supporters founded the PCC ZAPU, which would later be renamed ZAPU again, which favored a more militaristic approach. As the more moderate faction, Chitepo sided with Sitole and was elected chairman of ZANU, having defeated Nathan Shamiarira from its foundation. He held this post until the 7th of December 1974 when the Lusaka Accord was signed. Hebe Chitepo was a founding member of ZANU at its formation in 1963 together with Ndabaningi Stole. In 1966, Chitepo left his job in Tanzania and went to Lusaka to reorganize the party and begin the armed struggle full time. He directed the recruitment, training, and deployment of guerrillas. Under his leadership, ZANU formed its military wing the Zimbabwe African National Liberation Army, ZANLA. In 1973, he was elected chairman of the War Council, which was called Darere Chimurenga. It is here in Zambia where Chitepo would eventually die in a car bomb incident on the 18th of March 1975 at his home in Lusaka. The bomb had been set inside the front right wheel of his blue Volkswagen and was configured to detonate if the car moved. It is highly suspected that Chitepo was assassinated by the Rhodesian security forces with the hope of derailing the liberation struggle. The assassination was carried out by a Rhodesian Central Intelligence Organization operative called Yu Chuck Hind, who planted the bomb in Chitepo's car with the assistance of Zambian farmer Ian Robert Bruce Sutherland, who was an informer. Under the instruction of Ken Flower, the head of Rhodesia's CIO. Chitepo's body was later exhumed after independence and reburied at the National Heroes Acre in Zimbabwe. That is a brief snippet of the life of Herbert Wilshire Fumaindini Chitepo. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, see you in the next video.